friends, Julie here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking some thrift store finds and I'm going to be giving them a makeover. Now this is part of a collab. It is hosted by Border Bananas. It's called Flippin' Friday and you are just to flip something, make it different, make it new, make it your own. And so in this video, I'm going to share a few ideas I have with you of things that I am going to flip. There will be a playlist down in my description box, so be sure to check it out, as well as a link to her channel so that you can go see all of her amazing makeovers. She does a lot of thrifting flips, and you will love her channel. So the first thing I'm going to make over is this very heavy raw iron metal frame. It is very ornate looking. And I am also, it didn't have a back when I bought it from the Goodwill, so I'm just going to remove these little screws that have the, you know, the little latches that keep the backing on the frame since I don't need them. And I'm also going to give it a really good clean. And then I'm going to take this Rust-Oleum chalkboard paint in black and I am going to give the whole frame, the front and the back, two coats of the black chalk paint. And then once that's dry, I'm gonna take some of this home decor chalk paint in white, and I am going to start putting that coat on. And it is really important to get in all the little nooks and crannies since this is such a detailed frame. And this is how it looks after one coat of the white Adirondack. It does definitely need a second coat for the look that I am going for, but this kind of gives it like a stone look. And here it is after I completed the second coat of white chalk paint. I am just going to take one of these Dollar Tree sandpapers and I am going to remove the top white coat in certain areas so that you can see the black shining through. I didn't want the metal to come through, but I did want the black to come through. Here is the finished frame. This can be just stood like it is with a stand or it could be hung. I think it turned out really cute. Now for this next one, we are gonna do some faux concrete birds. These are just some birds that I have had for quite a while and they actually have a already a sandy texture on them. So I'm just going to give them a couple coats of this Waverly Mineral Chalk Paint. Now if you had found some little birds like this and they didn't have the texture, 
you can add sand or salt or even baking soda to your paint and make the texture yourself. And it did take two coats of this paint to fully cover the bird. Now I am going to do the wax finish. And for this concrete look, you need white wax and I don't have white wax, so I'm going to make it. I'm just taking some Annie Sloan's clear wax and I added some white acrylic paint to it and I'm just mixing it up until it's combined. Then I am gonna just use a paper towel. You could also use a rough paintbrush if you have one, but you end up using the paper towel to kind of wipe off some of the wax anyway, so I figured I would apply it with the paper towel, wipe off any excess, and then I don't need to dirty any brushes. And it is really important because of the concrete look that you get the white into all the little crevices of the bird's wings. And you just put as much as you like till you get the look that you're looking for and you can wipe off as much as you would like. And here are the three birds complete and they are dry. I think that they are perfect for spring. You can sprinkle them throughout your decor or you could group them together like this. And here is another piece that I found at Goodwill. It is a wooden shelf that is actually in pretty good shape. It still has the hangers on the back, so I figured I would definitely take it home and give it a makeover. So I cleaned it up really good and then I took the same white Adirondack chalk paint and I am going to coat this entire shelf front, back, top, and bottom. And again, making sure to get in all the little nooks and crannies. And I believe it took me two coats, possibly three coats to get this full coverage. So here it is after the first coat. It definitely needed one more coat. Now that it is completely dry, I am going to distress it with some sandpaper, making sure that basically all of the raised surfaces show some wear so that it looks natural. And it's also important to get um, the corners because the corners are a natural place where things get banged up. And so you really want it to look old and worn. The last step for this shelf is I really want it sealed so that the chalk paint doesn't chip off. Um, so I'm just going to take the clear wax from Annie Sloan and I'm going to give a nice coat to the entire thing. Basically you're just rubbing it all in and you don't want it to be goopy or anything. You want a very thin coat of it but you want it rubbed into all of the little crevices throughout the piece.
Here is the shelf all complete and dry. I do think it's like really a fun project when you can find something that's wooden at a thrift store and distress it so that the wood is exposed. I really appreciate you guys watching. Please let me know down in the comments which of my thrift store makeovers was your favorite. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell so you don't miss future videos. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks again for watching.